Salute to all my people. Y'all can like button if you haven't already. We're going to talk about Jawan Howard. Now, this is fresh, y'all. This just happened not too long ago. Um, Jawan Howard was seen smacking another coach. <laughs> Let me unpack what's going on or what happened. Uh, many of you guys have been seeing the clip go around. You've seen it on World Star. You've seen it on social media. And I'm going to tell y'all right now before we get started, if it's anybody that's young, um, this might not be the clip for you. It's going to be some language, etc. Nevertheless, we're going to talk about just real men. We're going to talk about men as grown men. When I know, you know, uh, uh, not to be played with. These are men with wives. These are men with children. These are men with understanding of what's going on. Now, a lot of you guys, y'all might never follow wrestling. Or, you know, maybe some of this crowd might be a little bit older to understand what was going on versus the younger guys that maybe didn't never see NWO and, uh, you know, um, WWF and all that. Well, you no, know, back in the day, you know, back when Kevin Nash and all them dudes was wrestling, The Undertaker, you know, Goldberg, you know, all them dudes way before John Cena. I'm talking back, you know. Uh, it used to be a thing where they would, you know, they would say, suck it, or, you know, the, Suck it. You know, they did out. That's that's the, the antics that they would do with some wrestlers. I forget what the wrestler's name was. But they would do that as a juster of, uh, you know, disrespecting another man before they wrestled, whatever. And it, it was a trendy thing that all the young guys did, the young kids, so on and so forth. I know when I was in maybe middle school or something. I don't really know. A long, long time ago, uh, you know, that's what, you know, when people was deep into wrestling. Uh, that was something that you seen back then. You know, as you became a grown man, uh, you understand that, you know, it's a time and a place for everything, and it's just that 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 era is over. As grown men, you're not uh, disrespecting a man in that regard. Now, Wisconsin's basketball coach, me and basketball coach, is a white man. Jawan Howard is a brother. Uh, he coaches Michigan, and then you got Wisconsin coaches, which is white men. Now, I'm sure all over social media, they will make Jawan Howard look like the bad guy because I'm reading headlines already just trying to destroy the man. Uh... But at the end of the day, I'm one to stand with Jawan Howard, as I said before, and I'll say again. Uh, this coach from Wisconsin hit him with a suck it, right? Uh, as a man, you know, uh, the, the worst thing you can do or the most disrespectful thing you can do is disrespect a man in them type of regards. Now, Jawan Howard is an old school brother, a brother that came from that aggressive side of basketball, and he carries himself as a man that ain't going to tolerate no no bullshit. You get what I'm saying? Uh, and it's good to see a man stand stand on his principle, stand on his honor, uh, and went right up to the white man, put his finger in his face before everything started unfolding. He ended up smacking the assistant coach. Uh, you can't you you know you can do whatever you want to do, but you can't tell a man how to react. At the end of the day, uh, this is a man that they're going to talk about him doing what he did, but they're not going to talk about that disrespectful gesture that the white man did. That's how America works. You see. Uh, I'm willing to bet you Jawan Howard's going to look bad into the media's eye unless it's some brothers that really, really want to stand on their principles and honors. But to me, this is the time where brothers are supposed to stand together and say, man, that brother's not wrong. At the end of the day, you know, uh, maybe he could handle it a little bit different, being that his students around, but at the same time to let that man know he won't tolerate it. Um, to me, I side with that. You know what I'm saying? You, you, can't, you can't just disrespect a man as that Wisconsin coach did. And expect him to just be okay with it. Now, you can do whatever you want, but you can't tell a man how to react. In this regard, I feel as though the way um, Jawan Howard reacted, because you see his team even had his back. And I love to see what Michigan did. Their players try to hold their coach back, but when they coach ride, they ride. That's how you go to war together. That, that builds camaraderie, in my opinion. Because I remember when I played basketball, when we go on the road, it's us against everybody. It's against the stadium, the other team. It don't matter because them are your brothers. That's who you lock in arms with. That's who you sweat with. That's who you win with. That's who you lose with. To see that that coach disrespected Jawan Howard the way he did, and Jawan Howard came back and smacked the assistant coach, uh, I'm sure Jawan Howard would be looked at as the bad guy. But in my opinion, um, I think the other dude is just as wrong, or if not more wrong, because if he never disrespected that man in that way, like the NWA, the NWO old school gestures of telling the man to suck it, um, if he never disrespected him in that way, then he wouldn't have got that energy in return. You know, he's supposed to go right up to him like he did, let him know exactly how he feel. You don't know what the white man said back to him. You know, all you, all everybody going to talk about is how angry Jawan Howard was. Um, 
But at the end of the day, you know, you invited this man to your private part in a disrespectful way, as grown me, in a disrespectful way. And then when he came up to you to confront you, it don't look like it was the fuse. It looked like that white man was saying something just as whatever back and forth. So Jawan Howard got even further mad behind him being tall and long arm and smacked him something. You know what I'm saying? So in that regard, we want to talk about uh, uh, Black History Month. Uh, Jawan Howard is submitted as the coach to smack the hell out of a white man in Black History Month and telling him to suck it. <laughs> so with that being said, me personally, uh, I side with him. I don't preach violence on nobody, but at the end of the day, respect get respect. Disrespect gets disrespect. At the end of the day, you can't tell a man how to react. Once you done disrespect him in that light, Jawan Howard is that old school guy, that old school uh, stand up dude that, that, you know, he stand on what he believe in. And in this regard, he don't believe that, you know, a man should be able to disrespect him like that. And I don't see that coach coming up to him like, you know, hey, man, I was sorry. You know, I was in the heat of the moment. Or, no, they came up to him and he met fire with fire. And just because my fire a little more hot than yours, I don't feel as though he should be crucified, as I'm sure the media will try to do. To me, or in my opinion, I'm sure Jalen Rose side with him. He got a platform. I hope that, you know, the bootlickers of the world, I hope the Stephen A's and everybody side with that brother and not make him look so bad because I'm sure they're looking for a reason to try to suspend him, find him, and probably try to figure out how can they get him out of coaching because, you know, that's what they don't want to see is a brother smacking one of them for disrespect. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, one thing for certain, two things for sure, uh, they can disrespect our people all day long. You know, you see... Um, the Joe Rogan followers, so on and so forth. They can say things, do things, and they people will still support them, as Spotify did Joe Rogan. But you see, when our people retaliate and do things in ways, uh, you see our people will even side with them and speak for what they major umbrella want them to say and study standing for something and saying, well, let's look at the whole table. Let's look at the whole table. Don't just look at this one man and what he did. Look at the entire table and look at this other grown man, white man, telling this brother that SMD on national TV for whatever reason. Um, so by Jawan Howard coming back and standing on his principles and honor, coming up to him and confronting him, man, it don't seem as though the Wisconsin coaching staff or team was trying to defuse nothing. It don't seem as though they were saying they apologize or nothing. Uh, to see that Jawan Howard fought fire with fire and came back and, you know, handled it the way he wanted to handle it. I don't feel as though he should be crucified in that regard, and I stand with Jawan Howard. Uh, hopefully our people stand with Jawan Howard, but, you know, we got so many bootlickers. It's hard to tell, but one thing I can guarantee you, Jalen Rose going to side with him, and that's good to see a brother with side with his brother. Um, hopefully, Jalen Rose don't make me out to be a liar, but I'm willing to bet my bottom dollar to see how them brothers really ride for each other and understand each other. Um, I'm sure Jalen Rose would go to one of the major platforms and stand on something versus letting that major unbrother decide what they should say out their mouth to try to make Jawan Howard look bad as a brother that got told to you know, by a white man. He got told that on, on national TV. And he came up to him and smacked the hell out of him. Job well done, Jawan Howard, in my opinion. Each one teach one as long as we have each other. We can continue to grow together. If I, it, it, listen, if I had it my way, I, was, I would love to see more of that. Not just, you know, black man or white man. I'm talking about just disrespect in general. Sometimes, you know, you cross the line. But to see a brother on Black History Month go smack the hell out of a white coach for telling him to suck it. Job well done. Each one teach one love respect.